say I identify as African American. I do identify as being Israelite. I do want to better understand okay. that, that aspect. All right, we were called African American by those who enslaved us. They changed the names of everybody on this planet Earth. That's why we're going back giving you the names that the Bible gave us. Right. That God gonna recognize us as. Right. Now the reason we know that we're the Israelites are because God gave Moses a prophecy of the curses that's gonna befall only the Israelites. Right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. This is how we know we're the Israelites. And not only am I gonna show you how we know we're the Israelites, I'm gonna show you what God expects of us as Israelites. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. Now, this is when we came out of Egypt. After we came out of Egypt, we was in bondage in Egypt. You, 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 you familiar with that story? We was in bondage in Egypt. When we came out, Moses put the staff down. We walked through on dry land. You familiar with that? Okay, after we walked on the dry land, we went to the wilderness. This is where we are in the story. Moses is talking to those he bought out of Egypt, which were the Israelites, um, through the um, dry land, on the, um, through the Red Sea, and then in the wilderness. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses were going to come upon us and overtake us. You think curses are a good thing or a bad thing? Um, they are what they are, but I think one of the curses that we, we have is us not knowing who we are. Read, give me um, um, Isaiah chapter 65 verse 15. This was a curse that God was going to take our heritage from us. The, 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 the us knowing who we are. This was one of the curses. Um, did, did you know who you were? When did you first find out who you were? Um, I've always grown up with a uh, certain awareness because my mom was uh, into... So you learned basically you were being lied to in a lot of stuff. Okay. Right. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. For a what? For a curse. This is a curse. We were going to leave that we were Israelites. Ever since slavery all the way up until now, we have not known we we're Israelites. Right. We're just waking up into the truth of learning that we're not black. Right. We're not Negroes. Right. We're not African Americans. Right. We're learning right now that we are waking up to see that we are the Israelites. Read. That's and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. Is that not what happened to us? Who else on planet Earth is being called by another name? Chinese people still called Chinese. The, um, 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 white people still know that they are, are the Caucasians from right. the Caucasus Mountains. The Arabs still know they're from Ishmael. That's how they started the little Muslim religion. Uh, give me, go back to the curses. So I'm going to show you some of the curses that why, proved us. Why would our father bestow this curse upon us? Why would he? Because, read it again. 28 verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. We actually caused it upon ourselves. We, we made a covenant with God. We signed the covenant and then we broke the covenant. Read, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. We, God described us as, as, as foolish. We were very stubborn. Give me um, Ezekiel chapter um, 2 verse 3. God continue to call us stubborn because we continue to break his laws. We continue to serve other gods. We continue, even to this day, we want to be like other nations. This is something we've always been um, guilty of. Idolatry, um, serving other gods, seeking to be like these other nations. Read Ezekiel chapter two, verse three. And he said unto me, son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hate rebellion against me. Now, this is how God described us. We continued to break his law. Now, we just read the way he said we fought, if we didn't keep his commandments, all of these curses were going to come upon us. This is why we're sitting where we're at. Now, how, what does God require of us, or how do we get out of this situation, is basically do the opposite of what we did to get in this situation. Give me the, yeah, read it. And they and their fathers, read it again. They oh, and their fathers have transgression against me, even until this very day. 
That's what God said. Now what you said? Did we, did we knowingly put ourselves in the situation to have this curse bestowed upon us? And if so, how do we knowingly get out of it? All right, give me, um, yes, we did. God gave us laws. Give me, we finna finish doing Deuteronomy 28, and then I'm gonna show you um, how do we get out of it. Read, read verse 16. Verse 15 again. We finna start show him that he basically gave us an ultimatum. Read, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Moses was only talking to Israel. So uh, uh, he's saying if we don't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe, to do all his commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I commanded thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now all of Israel heard that. Let's see some of these curses. Give me verse 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt be trump a wife. And another man shall lie with her. Did that not happen during slavery? That, that happened to us as a nation, not as a, a, a group of ten people that happened to us. No, as a nation, we betrothed a wife and another man lied with her. Right. Give me verse um, um, 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that not happen to us? These are things that God promised was going to happen to us. Give me verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Moses gave us warning after warning after warning. All these curses gonna come over thee and pursue thee if we don't keep his commandments, read. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Till we are destroyed, we not destroyed. We don't know who we are. We see each other as the enemy, as the, as the government steady making laws against us. As we got a president who's steady saying that the neo-Nazis are good people. We are so destroyed, we still killing each other, read. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. We don't follow what this Bible tells us. This right. is the voice of the Lord thy God. That's he that's tells that's us what to do in this Bible. Read. Right. To keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Read. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. These curses shall be upon us. For a sign and for a wonder. These curses are upon us for a sign. So no matter whoever's on this earth, you'll be able to tell who are the children of Israel because of this sign that Moses said was going to happen to us. Read. Right. And upon thy seed forever. How long is forever? <laughs> that means even right now, we'll see a sign of whoever these curses describe, those are the children of Israel. Right. Correct? According to this scripture, right? Now, you ask, did we do it purposely? Right now, we got the Bible in everybody at home. Everybody that believes that they're Christian, that believes that they're that, that, that they believe in this Bible, they got the Bible at the house, and the Bible tells them not to eat pork, are they listen? The Bible tells them the women are dressed moderately, are they listen? We still purposely not doing what thus says the Lord. Right. So yes, we did it voluntarily. Right. Now let's see what God requires of us. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10, Hold verse 12. Alright, so you asked the question. Give me Isaiah 30 first. I want rebellious. This is a rebellious people. See Isaiah, is it 30 or 29? Isaiah 30, 30, 30, 30 and 1. Yeah, 30 and 9. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 9. Uh-huh. This is a rebellious people. So the Bible says that we are rebellious people. Like he brought out, we had the commandments of God. Right. Read. Lying children. Lying children. Like we come out here and teach our people and they keep moving. Read. Children that would not that would hear. Work. That would not hear the law of the you Lord. See that? We didn't want to hear the laws of God. Therefore, we got what you see in front of you. Chains. Slave ships, abortion, rape, robbery, ghetto slums all across America. Read. Verse 10. What say to the seers? The seers are your leaders, your prophets. Read. See not. See not. And to the prophets. Uh huh. Prophesize, prophesize um, not unto us right things. Uh huh. See, seek unto the us smooth things. So we didn't want to hear things that were right for us. Now you asked a very powerful question. You said, what can we do to get out of this situation, right? All right, let's go to Deuteronomy 30 in verse one. It's a very simple question, very simple answer. How do we get into this situation? By doing what? By not listening, what to what? There you go, to That's God's right. law. That's right. To God's law. So, on the flip side, how do you think we're going to get out of this situation? There you go. Right. Listen good, though. Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 1. Uh -huh. 
And it shall come to pass Read. when all these things are come upon thee. You see that? You can see that all these things that come upon us, right? You see it. Read. The blessing and the curse. The blessing and the curse. Read. Which I have set before thee. Uh -huh. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. When you call these things to mind, like what you're doing right now, you're saying, you know what? What your brothers are saying is right. So how do we switch this thing? God already gave you the answer. Read. Whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. Which is a miracle for us, Tallahassee. Read. And shalt return unto the Lord so thy God. So now in this land, in the place where you hear his word, you got to return unto the Lord your God. Read. And shall obey his voice. And what? And shall obey his voice. Read. According to all that I command thee. Uh -huh. This day, thou and thy children. You and your children. Read. With all thine heart. Uh -huh. And with all thy soul. Read. That then the Lord thy God will turn the captivity. Will do what? Will turn the captivity. Uh -huh and have compassion upon thee. So, once we turn our actions, that is when we will get out of this situation. That's right. right. So you got to learn these laws, statutes, and commandments, and you got to apply them in your life. You understand that? So let me ask you this, brother. What is sin according to the Bible? Do you know? I don't know Good. First John 3 and 4. These are the Bring basics of the Bible that you must learn and you must apply. Right. But the great thing about it is you don't have to do it by yourself. I was on that side of the sign at one point. Right. This brother was on that side. This right. brother was on that side. You know what we say? You know what? The life that I'm living is a lie. What those brothers are teaching, what the Bible is teaching me is true. That's and true. the life that I'm living is not true. So I'm going to go follow these brothers in this Bible and I'm going to do what it requires of them. Right. Read that. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Listen good. Whosoever committed sin. The Bible says, but whosoever committed sin does what? Transgressing. Does what? Transgressing. Uh huh. Also, the law. Now he's gonna make it very simple for you. Read. For sin. For sin. Read. Is the transgression of what? Of the law. What sin, brother? Ah, right, good. Yeah, we went too fast. Read that last part. For sin is. For sin is the. No, hold on. For sin is. Read. The transgression. The transgress means to do what? Uh, transition. No, trans transgression. To transgress is to break. Or to go against. Right? Like if I said, bro, you transgressed me, bro. You did something wrong against me. You know what I'm saying? Like you slept with my girl or something. You stole something from me. That's a transgression. There you go. There you go. So now you understand what sin is. Now you got to understand what laws am I breaking? What does God want me to change about myself to bring about the turning of my captivity? Right. You understand that? I'm going to get one for you real quick. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. Bring it up. You ain't sin right now. You didn't know it though, right? That's why the Most High sent his prophets out to teach us yes. God's word. Because right. those pastors and preachers, they're not going to teach you this Bible. Right. They Right now, they're in the press box getting ready for the football game. They're not, they're not out here worrying about teaching their people God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Because they don't care about it. They, this is their heaven. Right. This is hell to the children of Israel. Right. The majority of our people are at the bottom of society. Right. Read that. First, first Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Uh -huh. yep. But I would have you know Read. that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of the household, the head of every man is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman. The head of what? The woman. The head of the woman. Read. Is the man. So the Bible says that there is an order in the household. And you so-called black men are supposed to be at the top of the food chain when it comes to your house. That's, That's right. right. Read. And the head of Christ uh -huh. is God. And the head of Christ is God. Read. Every man, every man, praying or prophesying. That's what we're doing right here. The scriptures, according to the Bible, prophesying is speaking the words of Christ or reading the Bible at all. Read. Having his head covered. You got your head covered right now. Read. Dishonoring his head. So right now, while the word is coming out, you having a hat on, you are transgressing God's laws. You understand that? So if you, I'd be taking a step in the right direction by removing my hat. There you That's go. Right. You're a wise That's brother. Right. So now here comes. There you go. All praise you, brother. All praise. So that's the sign that guess what? That doesn't mean I'm not going to wear my hat for the rest of the day, though. No, no, you don't have to because the word ain't going to be coming out all day. You understand that? It's only when you're praying a prophesy. Right. right. You understand that? I wear a hat every day. Where I work at, I always have a hat on. But when the word's coming out, I remove my hat in right. honor of Christ. Right. That's just like uh, um, they get that they, when you, you know, say take your hat off when you come in the house. They get that from the Bible. We're showing reverence, respect. For the most time. Now I'm gonna show you another scripture, Leviticus 21 and 5. Bring it out. Alright, because I see that you got the five o'clock shadow, right? Right. So that's showing me that you can grow what? You can grow a beard, right? 
Now let's see, but you haven't been taught this Bible the way you should have. Right. Listen good. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Uh -huh. No. They shall not make baldness upon their head. No, you're not supposed to shave your head bald, according to the Bible. Read. Neither uh -huh. shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither what? Shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So that means you're not supposed to cut your beard. Right. Now you shaved it all the way off. You're not supposed to do that according to the script. You understand that? These are basic, basic scriptures, right? But you never heard it before, have you? Why are they so specific as to what you do not do? Good. Why are they so specific? Give me Isaiah 30 and verse 21. You know? The beard. Right, the beard. Why is it like that? No, Leviticus 20 and 26. Let's, uh, let's go there first. Great question. Why is the Most High God so specific about what you can and can't do? Right? That's what you want to know? Read that. Leviticus and chapter Deuteronomy 20, 26. verse 26. Uh-huh. And ye shall be a you ye shall be holy ye unto shall me. Be what? Ye shall be holy unto me. Uh-huh. For I the Lord am holy. So God says that we should be a holy people. Holy means separate. The things that we do are to separate us from everybody else on the face of the earth. That's right. right. We are to be the light of the earth. Right. right. Everybody should look at an Israelite man, an Israelite woman, and know that that's the standard of beauty according to God. That's, that's right. That is the way and manner that we should act right. according to God. And everything that we do is in line with the scriptures. That's right. We have a purpose for why we do what we do. It ain't we low riding because we want to look cool. It ain't I got blind tips because I saw somebody else do it. Right. Everything that we do, guess what? You're going to say, well, according to Leviticus 21 and 5, I got a beard. According to Numbers 15 and 38, I got fringes. You know? According to Leviticus 11 and 7, I can't eat pork. According to Jeremiah 1, I can't celebrate my birthday. And guess what happens when you start living like that? Give me Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Bring it out. Let me show you. God says that you will be called wise above everybody else on the face of the earth. Right. Because the things that you have are not driven by what you want to do and what you desire, but what God tells you to do. Do you understand that? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Uh -huh. No. Keep therefore and do them. Do what? Keep therefore and do them. Brother, the, the, the Most High God says, keep therefore and do them. Speaking about the commandments. Read. For this is your wisdom. This is your what? This is your wisdom. This is your wisdom. Read. In your understanding. And your understanding. Read. In the sight of the nation. You see that? In the sight of the nation. Because right now, to the, to the white man, what if, how do they look at the so-called African-American race? Do they look at us with respect, with honor, with integrity? Is that how they look at us? Absolutely not. They say we're the scum of the earth. Our women don't know how to dress properly. Our men don't take care of their children. No. Our women are twerking. Our men are selling drugs, killing one another. Because we have went away from the, the words that are written in this Bible. That's right. You understand that? So read that again. So he understands why this Bible is so specific in what we can and can't do. Read that. Keep therefore and do them. Uh -huh. For this is your wisdom. This is your wisdom. And your understanding. And your understanding. And the sight of the nation. And the sight of the nation. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring it out. Bring it out. This is why. Because the Most High God says we're different from all other people on the face of the earth. That's so he got a set, defined set of laws for us. Why were we chosen? Good. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. And read all the way down. We're going to read down to 8. For thou art a holy people. There go again. We are a holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto who? The Lord thy God. Uh-huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. The Lord thy God have chosen you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman. That's right. right. To be a special people. To do what? To be a special people. You are chosen to be a special people unto God. Right. Unto himself. Uh-huh. Above all people. Even that, with all people. Above all people. So all this equality talk is not in line with the Bible. Right. That's right. God says that you are above all people upon the face of the earth. That's right. right. But only when you act like it. Yeah. Keep reading. That are upon the face of the earth. Read. The Lord did not set you, his love upon you. The Lord did not choose us. Read. Nor choose you uh -huh. because ye were more in number. He than didn't choose us because we were big in number. Read. Than any people. Uh -huh. For ye were fewest of all people. Read. But because the Lord thy God loved you. But because what? Because the Lord loved you. But because the Lord thy God loved you. That is why we were chosen. That's the Most High right. God always had his eyes on us from the beginning. That's that, right. The nation of Israel, that's going to be my people. That's, right. that's who I'm going to choose to set apart from all other people on the face of the earth. Right. right. You understand that? Now, what can you do today? Acts, not Acts, um, what did uh, Gather your Zephaniah to him. 
This is what you must do. Right up. You got to come into these scriptures and you got to join yourselves with brothers that understand the word of God. That's right. right. So you can grow. You can't do it by yourself. Like I said before, as long as you keep living in, in this world, you're going to fall back into everything else that's going around. Right. You got to be amongst brothers that want to that want to do this word of God. Right. right. And we're the only people that you're going to find that's keeping the law of statute and command. Well, right. Even before you continue, brother, I yes, would sir. say that over the past, I'd probably say in the past two and a half years, uh -huh. I've gotten to a point in my life where it's like I do need prayer. My right. mother raised me in the way to know that going to the Christian church mm -hmm. was not the way to do it. Right. And, um, over the past couple of years, I've just really immersed myself into reading more about just the mental health state of right. African Americans, uh -huh. um, trying to better understand who I am, where I'm from. Right. I was this close to serving abroad in Ethiopia, right. and I wanted to go back to Ethiopia. Right. Right. But that opportunity didn't work out for me. But what I'm getting to is I've been searching or seeking prayer, a, right. a, a form of prayer, a form of meditation. Okay. Yoga doesn't do it for me. Right. Uh, going to church doesn't do it for me, but I am looking for that that next step. And so I'm open ears. I'm praying. Well, listen, I'm gonna show you one thing about that prayer that your mother told you about. Because what you what you done is what all of us have done. I've been a, a so-called uh, black conscious person, you know, uh, learning about all the events and so on and so forth. Nothing. I've been a conspiracy theorist. Nothing. Brothers have been in Egyptology. Nothing. This is who we are. This is our heritage. This is our culture. This is how you get back in line with who you truly are. You understand right. that? Because we've always been searching, but our heritage was cut off from it. Read that. John chapter 9, verse 31. Yo. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Read that again. For we know that God heareth not sinners. So the Bible says that the Most High God of Israel does not what? Heareth not sinners. God does not hear your prayers if you are not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. That's, That's right. right. That is why all this time you've been searching, you just keep going from location to location, the doctrine to doctrine, and this to this. And none of it is fulfilling because it's not in line with the scripture. Right. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Bring it out. All right, listen good. This is what has happened to the so-called black man, Hispanic and Native American man here in America and all throughout the diaspora. Listen good. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, Read. shall discontinue Shall what? Shall discontinue That's what happened to you. That's why you said you were searching, right? Because you have stopped Read. From thine heritage We have discontinued from our heritage. Right. We now worship Jesus Christ as a white man. Right. We now think that the, the 12 tribes of Israel are American blacks, are West Indians, are Native Americans, are Haitians. We have lost who we are. Right. Read. The inheritance that I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. So he caused us to serve our enemies in a land that we do not know. So how do we get that peace that you are speaking about? Isaiah 26 and 3. Bring Bring it out. I will show you how you get that, that understanding and that peace of mind that you've been searching for, right? Because you said none of it can work. What is the meditation that I need to get back to where I want to be at? Read that. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. Read. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. The what? Thou will keep him in perfect peace. The Bible says he will keep you in perfect peace. Read. Whose mind Who's is what? Whose mind? Whose mind is stayed on thee. You see that? You gotta keep your mind, your heart, and soul in these scriptures. That's right. This is the only thing that's true in this whole world. Right. Everything else is false when it comes to this Bible. Matter of fact, give me uh John. I won't seek you out of the book. No, Isaiah 34 and 16. Let's get that first. What time is it? Isaiah 34 and 16. And you, you drive? Um, I'm from Michigan. Okay. The, uh, you're a freshman? No, no. Okay. I, I'm down here on the uh, HBCU college tour. Okay, I got you. I got you. Take about 30, 40 students from the Lansing, Michigan area. Okay, so you with the kids, that's all been true. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll pray. Read that. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Listen, nope. good. This is the last scripture I'm going to give you because then we got to go. Right. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. You what? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. The book of the Lord is the Bible. Read. And read. And what? And read. Read. None of these shall fail. Nothing that's written in this Bible is going to fail you. Right. That's It'll right. teach you in every manner of life how to deal. Right. right. Marriage, finances. Right. Job. Right. Uh, health. Right. Exercise. Whatever right. it is, the Most High God has an answer for it. That's right. Read. None of, none shall want her mate. Uh huh. For my mouth has commanded. The Most High God put this book together. Read. In his, in his spirit 
had gathered them. Uh huh. So, I'm gonna end that. Give me Matthew 26. So, brother, we got we actually got a school. You in Detroit? Uh, I don't live in Detroit. I live in Lansing. But I go Lansing. To how far? How far is Detroit from Lansing? About 45 minutes. Okay, cool. We actually have a school in Detroit as well. Okay. So you should visit. You should visit the school. And we have a website. We have online classes three times a day, seven days a week. Who's and your we, point of contact in Detroit? In Detroit, it will be Officer Ezra. Yes. I can give you his number. Sure. I can give That'd you his number. Great. All right, read. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.